Hello there. So, quick video in regards to the Ed McMahon um, Publishers Clearinghouse possible Mandela effect that's going on right now. I personally, I'm in conflict with this. At first, it floored me, but then after doing some research now, I'm uncertain and a little confused. So, first, I'll read you this article. See, Ed McMahon's mysterious association with Publishers Clearinghouse. When Ed McMahon passed away, one question was re asked repeatedly. How will Publishers Clearinghouse notify their winners now? The answer is easy. They'll notify their winners the same way they always have, because Ed McMahon never worked for PCH. And if you hear that crunching in the background, I don't know if you guys can, but that's because the dog decided to chew on the bone in here and he won't go away. <laughs> so I'm sorry. So then I looked it up and found this video, which it says American Family Sweepstakes, which that does sound, that kind of rings a bell with me, but bear with me because I did a little more research after this. American Family is making sweepstakes history again. 1982, the first million dollar prize. I won a million dollars from American Family. Night. Okay, so I went to Wikipedia. American Family Publishers was an American company that sold magazine subscriptions. It was incorporated in 1996 in Utah. It is best known for running sweepstakes, yada yada. And not much information over here. So then I went to Publishers Clearinghouse. Um, you know, pretty much the same thing. Sold magazines, sweepstakes. It was founded in 1953, and over here they do have a, quite a bit of information. You can see, you know, the, the date there. Now, here's where, you know, if any of you guys can... I, I looked around, and I just keep coming across for the American Family Publishers this, this date right here. And if this is the case then how is it possible that they had a commercial in 1984 and even making reference to 1983? You know, if, if you guys can point me in the right direction to, you know, solve this, this mystery, prove that it's not uh, a Mandela effect, then I will pull my video. That's fine. I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out right now. And apparently, after Ed McMahon died, then Dick Clark took over. I read that in another article, and of you know, of course, now I don't have it up anymore, it, unless it was on here, but I don't think so. But yeah, I've never seen any commercials with with um with Dick Clark in it for the sweepstakes. I don't know. So, anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there to you guys because. Like I said, at first I was floored when I heard this. I was like, I know I have seen him in the commercials with the check and the champagne and all of that. And then I didn't know if he died or just got too old to, or didn't want to do it anymore. And then I thought he was replaced by, you know, the new guy and the new crew of people that come up in the van. But now doing research, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. So, seriously. You know, please comment down below if, if you've come across other information pertaining to this confusion or, you know, anything. So, anyways, on that note, I hope that you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.